How are you? Good to see you. How's the baby? Hello, baby. Right around the end of the very first season of The Apprentice, I got a request to do a Donald Trump voiceover. And I went to my wig person and my wardrobe person, and we built the costume, you know, the wig and the look, and we did the makeup. And then since then, I've been working pretty much nonstop. Huge, huge. Where are you from? Oh, from Bulgaria. Bulgaria. I love Bulgaria. I think one of my wives was from Bulgaria. I'm not sure. Great country, beautiful women. I've kind of adopted the way he moves, his hand movements, his gestures, but his his voice is a very difficult voice. His throat placement is unusual, his nasal placement, his actual vocal production, the way he speaks with the lips are very, very close, so the w words are all formed right about here. So he's a very, very difficult person to impersonate. I saw that. I saw that. His style of speaking has definitely changed, where he used to be much more kind of a staccato style. He's really loosened up. There's much more, he's, he's much more free-flowing. He's much more tangential. He's commenting on things constantly. That, you see that? They're obviously voting for me. Yes. They're fantastic. They love, love, love Donald Trump and Mike Pence, but you know, really Donald Trump. Listen, I'm moving in in a couple of a couple of months, yes. right there. Just knock on the door. Say, Mr. Trump, remember me? We met before. Okay, here we go. I had no idea it would lead to something like this. To be standing in front of the White House, to be performing in front of 5,000 people, to be on national commercials, to be getting calls to voice toys and things like that. I never thought anything like that could possibly happen. If he wins, I will work constantly. Yeah.